Okay, now what we're going to do, we're going to show you how to put a new post into the Girona Writers. And uh, if you remember, you will be able to do this. First thing to do is to uh, log in. Let's uh, log in with uh, my username and password. That's going straight in there. That's perfect. Now then, what you need to do is you need to go to this thing over on the left hand side here, which is your uh, place where you can do all the things you need to do. And uh, what we want to do this time is we want to put in a post. So we're going to put in add new. So we click on the add new. And new add new post window comes up there. So what we're going to do first of all is to put a title in for the post that is going to go into here. In this case, title of piece. So type directly in here. Or what you can do is do a copy and paste. So if you have another document with your text in there, there's absolutely no problem with taking the text from there and copying it and pasting it into this. Just in case you're not sure, what you need to do is to select the text in the other document, use Control or Command C to copy it onto the pasteboard, and then you go to this document and you use Control or Command V to paste it in. It just might be a good idea, first of all, when you've got it pasted in, to check that it's pasted in in the correct format. If it has pasted in incorrectly in the wrong type of format, then what I suggest you do is to grab the text, change it to something like heading 2, and then return it after that back to paragraph text. And that should work. It has worked for me in the past. Now the next thing to do is to assign the blog post some categories and the reason for this is so that it's going to help us to find the blog post at a later date. So you can use the category of weekly meeting if it's one of the pieces of work that's come from the assignments that we've set for ourselves. So the next thing to do is to put some tags in there. Now the tags refer to the content itself. So if you've got something in there that's to do with haikus or if it's something to do with something specific like farmyard or haiku or whatever, put those in there. And those tags will also help the search engines to find our work. Just throw some tags in there and separate them all with a comma. And so when you're ready to go with that, all you need to do is to click on the button which says publish. So let's click on that button now. And that will send your document into the server and it's going to be available for people to read it. As soon as the thing is actually published, you'll see a little yellow bar at the top there just to let you know that it's been published. So if you want to, you can click on the link which is view post. Or I've got this in a different tab to have a look at. And all I've got to do is to click on reload. So there you go, you have the title there and you have the text in the main part of the blog post and the job is done. You can click on the title and look at the page by itself. On that page you're able to put in comments. So it's a good place for us to be able to comment on each other's work. Other people outside the group that find the website can leave a reply there if they want to, but any replies left there by external members will have to be moderated first. So there you go, click on that button there, submit the comment, and the comment will be in the system. As members of the group, when we put a comment in, they'll go through straight away and they don't need to be approved first. Now this particular post is just for demonstration purposes, so I'm going to go back in there and delete it. So to delete a post, you go to the post page by clicking on the word edit in the sidebar to the left. And in there you'll see a list of all the posts, and I'm just going to click on this one to delete it. And that's how easy it is to create a new post in your own writer. It's pretty easy really, don't worry about it. And if you have trouble, just uh, get in touch with me and ask me how to do it, and I'll help you. Thank you. Bye-bye now.